welcome to our youtube channel and here in this video we are going to see how you can make your project live means how you can make your project live making your project live so that you can show the your project to your friends mentors and others so it will be very easy for a person to make his web projects or any other projects of any languages like python if you are learning python c c++ any language then you can make your project live and show to your friends and teachers so let us see how we can do it so imagine i am having a project this is my web project so in this web project what i am having let me show you the demo when we open with this live server i am opening my website so this is my basic html template which i designed using html and base of css so you can just see how it is looking so this is running in my local so you can see that this is running in my local environment okay but what i want i want this to be run in the other environment like i wanted this to be visual to the internet so that other person can also take this website and have a look on the website so if you want to make your website live for free it is for free and you can use it for any multiple time of websites until unless you are making them private for publicly available website it is free so we go to a well known website that is called replit.com if you go to the replit.com you will just see what we'll get it's a powerful ide it's a just a ide it's as simple as you, you write your code in vs code and you will just compile and run we are getting an online ide so let me click here if you don't have any account you just create an account by clicking login and sign up i already have an account so what i'll do i click login and i am already logged in as see this is your username you will be logged in with so here i will teach you how you can make your project live so here we are having multiple things so we can do create a new folder i am creating a folder called web projects okay i will keep all my web projects in, inside this folder and now i am moving forward inside this folder and in this folder i'll create my first repl okay let us write let us take a template which project i am writing i am writing html css and js project you can just select the templates from here official languages will get here and we'll just select this template name okay html css and js what i will name this as my project is based on taj hotel i will just select taj hotel site okay i will click create template okay if i click create template a user interface will be opened the user interface will have the file system you can just keep your file system here and it is loading here let's give it some time and let us see other things here you will get something called like it is your code editor place and it is the place where you can just see your outputs and here if i go with this this is your console window okay see here you will get the code editor you will get this uh, tool to get this how much how you can run and this i already know them so i am just skipping so this is the basic website see i got this site and if i just click run i'll get a hello world inside this so if i want if i want to this i can open in the new tab this will be open in new tab okay or else this is my local site and i am having this a url for my website this is a url for my website which is in the replit i will just write hello world and i can just run here and it will be loading here let us give it some time so that it loads and we can change our code live here hello world i i write i am gautam so if i do this i can come here and okay it's reload time i think we have a network issue here okay we can just close it and when i run here again what i'll do it will just run my website in this browser if i click here i can get this okay let us go to more give a second will it's okay no issues it is my personal site right i can trust it so i got yeah so you you can just save this url and you will get the your site running live okay you get your site running live here so let us move back and what i'll do i will just take this taj project and i will make it live in this replit site okay in this taj hotel i'll just replace this index.file 
Okay, what I'll do, I will just copy this. I will delete this file. And inside this, I am copying my whole basic index.html file. Okay. Apart from if I run this, I will get the basic page of my hotel ready. If I click here, if I refresh it, here also the same page will get ready. Means now I can share this URL to my friends and all my colleagues so that I can just check out what I have made and all them can check out. Okay. This is the easiest way you can just keep your site running. Apart from this, this is only one page, right? If I click about us, no page is available. So it is having no page found. So what we'll do, we'll come here. This is the same folder structure which you get with VS code. If I click here, add file, I will get add file. So let me check out what is the name of the files we have. We have about underscore us dot HTML and we have contact dot HTML. So what I'll do, I click here about underscore us dot HTML. I'm creating a new file. And inside this new file, I'm just copying this whole content. I will copy this and I will paste here. Okay. Next file, what we have, we have contact.html. I create a new file called contact.html. And what I'll do, I will just copy this contact.html file. Control A, Control C. Then moving here, I will paste it and I will click here run. Means my website will reload and runs. If I click here reload, then what I'll do, it will just run my website as it is running in the local. Okay, I got my about page. I can just read about it. I can go back to my home page. And this is my easiest way to make my HTML projects as live. So you can show your friends what you have made and impress them. So apart from my HTML language, what I can do, it supports more than 40 languages. So I will go to my base. I will come here, click on my user account and I will see. Okay, I will come here. I will just check out my repels. Here repel means your site or you can just say it is your program. Okay. I will just create a new repel. What is the repel? If I am learning Python, right? I can write Python. I can just write printing names. Okay. And I can just create a repel here and it will open an editor, which is having file system again. And we can write code and we can just check out what is the other thing. So it is ready. Now I can write my Python code. So it, we also have pip. We can also install many packages, right? I can just write print. Hello. world. I can do this and I can just keep this hello world and I can run this. I can just check out my website without having an Python installed in my system. Even though Python is not installed in my system, I can just run and compile all the Python programs. And if you wish to install any other package, you can come sell here and you can just write pip install. You can just write numpy. All the third party packages you can just install from here. Okay. It is looking into indexes. It will just install. Okay. So you can just uh, uh, make sure that you can use any languages. See if I go to my repels again, then it is my repels and you can just see how many templates you have. You have each and every language. You have template for Python, for HTML, for C++, if you want to practice, if you want to practice Java, more than multiple languages are available for you to practice. You can just use them and you can just share your code, what you have wrote. So this is the one of the best ID you can use. Also, you can use the react projects and all these different languages are also available here. So you can just make your code live and you can share with your friends. Thank you friends for this watching this video. Thank you. Thank you all.